What's up, traders? Matt from the Trade Brigade here doing a technical analysis on ticker symbol DKNG for DraftKings Inc. On the left hand side, we have the daily time frame, and on the right hand side, the 30 minute intraday time frame. First things first, we talked about this one when it gave us the earnings announcement here, noting that push and pull between Penn as well as DraftKings, you can clearly see a little bit of lift out of this known area of support, which we had mapped out around 42. What I would venture to add to this chart, though, is taking a look at the 30 minute time frame, you can certainly see or start to see at least the importance let's switch tools here of that 46 level okay so if i throw that on the charts here 46 the whole dollar 46 10 if you want to round up prior support then turned into big resistance on that earnings day where we actually drove higher to not only fill the gap but make a significant run inside of the prior day's range so let's zoom in on that that's really the main thing i want to discuss here so firstly let's take out the fibs here we go from the red day from high to low our 38.2 is always that level to be watching out for. Obviously, into the end of the day here, we never quite made it there. However, as we gapped down, right, and filled that gap to the upside, then continued uh, higher than that, note that we tried to make an attempt up above that 38.2. That, to me, is noteworthy, and that's exactly where we resisted once again into this afternoon. So, to me, that number, as well as the 46, are the ones that will unlock more upside continuation, basically getting back inside of, let's firstly throw that on with a regular level, then I'll tell you my scenarios here. So we'll put that on here. Let's clean up the fibs, get rid of that. Uh, so here are the scenarios, right? Basically, if we can break 45.16, I would expect healthy consolidation here, not necessarily taking a trade yet, but healthy consolidation, some sort of break over 46 opens the door to 48. That's the bottom end of the prior balance from the daily time frame, and about a $2 move here inside of DraftKings, definitely something worth swinging for. After that, we would be looking into the range for a move to the top end. You can clearly see that well defined resistance at $50.60. So that's how I'm looking at DraftKings to the upside. If we can never make it up and over 45, I would just avoid this, wait for some sort of structural pattern to be put in down here to see if 42 will ultimately in the future be resolved to the upside. Again, it could take some time. We could roll back over, put in a bit of a double bottom, right? Touch number one, touch number two, potentially a break of this neckline takes us higher. It could be a number of things, but just exercising patience in between 45.16 down to 42, that next major area of support where we've bounced out of from that earnings gap down here. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, let me know in the comment section or by giving the video a thumbs up. Don't forget our main channel is linked in the description. And all of that being said, I wish you a green trading week.